Hey YouTube, this is uh, King Cobra GFS with another. Oh fuck, the triple is balancing. Hold on a second. Uh, fuck. Let's see. Testing, testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. That's better. Alright. Anyway, um, I have me a Crossman Pumpmaster BB gun. Standardized, you know. You know, safety on. It's empty right now, but we treat each gun as if it's loaded. Okay. Basically, go like that. And then you put a GB in there. You know what I'm saying? So, like that, basically. Yes, yeah, three. Well, what am I going to do with this BB gun of mine? Well, I'm going to attempt to pistol grip it like a sawed off shotgun. Um, so you need to take a saw right there, like that. So, this is stuff's just not needed for me. Um, it doesn't kick or recoil or anything, so yeah. The safety on. Um, and we'll, we'll patch it up too when we get the chance, but uh, is there anything I'd screw the stock with? Oh, look at that, there's might be. Alright, cool. We're going to just take the gun and, you know, hack away at it. We want to be a little smarter about this and see if we can't remove the stock here and see if that's, uh... Alright, so... Um, <clears throat> this looks like... Yep, only, but this is a screw for the stock here, so we're just going to screw that. Okay, well, I need a smaller screw than that. Okay, so I have a rope, what have you. Okay, um. Okay, Chase a Phillips, so. I could just use my knife, that would be a lot easier because I can't find a fucking screwdriver for, for at the moment. I wouldn't know where one's at, so. Alright. Very carefully remove the screw here. Actually, not, I'll probably strip the screw, so let's see here. Um. You know what? I don't think that is a screw to be honest with you, so. And the saw is just right there, so do I, do I even have a saw is the question. Um, I don't have a hacksaw and I'm screwed loyally, but let's see here. So we see to a song, so why the fuck is it not? This looks like something you'd see on a saw, sharp tooth, 
fine finish. Yes, the saw. Aha! We have a saw! Alright! I'll go again. <laughs> saw reference. Okay. Um. Just wanna cut right there. That works. You can go cut to the plastic. Um. You know, we should be more professional about this. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see here. Fuck. I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we have here? Okay, let's see if that'll fit in. This one's too small, this one's too big, we need something just a little bit bigger. Shit. Hmm. Is it even big enough to fit the screw? Let's see. Nope, not quite. Yeah, it's gonna take a fit of a For a second, take my two wants to stop here and some hit. Find a screwdriver head here that fits the fucker. Okay, let's see. Find a screwdriver so I don't have to freehand it. Alright. Start off, crossman be begun. All I do is um, cut the stock down to a pistol grip here, safety's on. Okay. It's cutting it. All right, cool. <laughs> Fucking sweet. All right. There's fucking sweet. All right. Okay. All right. That uh, looks pretty fucking sweet. Just uh. Yeah, pistol gripped. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty beast. So yeah, 
All right, now uh, we need something to, uh, let's see here. Um, seal it up with. If I do seal it up, I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper and uh, sand her off a bit so she's a... Uh... Alright. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the excess crap off so it looks more professional. So, okay, next is. Typical America has to solve everything. It's a BB gun. You know, this is for plinking. You know, so I have a little fun with it. and smooth. Looks a lot better. Look Sweet. Let's test it out, shall we? Uh, we got some. Uh, we got some uh, Daisy BBs here. Some Daisy more BBs. So, just gonna take a couple here and load her up. BBs going here like that. So, yeah. So you can't have a sound of a shotgun and you like the, you know, next best thing, just look at the BB gun, have a little fun with it, you know. Okay. Next thing you want to do is that little switch right there, go like that. See what I do? I'm just shaking them into the BB gun like that. And then once you're done, you click it shut, and you can see you have BBs right in there, okay? You got a BB loaded in there? Switch. We got target zombie. Oh! So there you have it. A sawed-off um, BB gun. All I do is cut the stock pistol grip it, so... Fucking sweet. Um, I could go a bit further and cut the barrel off, but I'm going to leave the barrel the original length because um, this is metal, and that saw is not sharp enough to cut through metal, and with the, with the side on this, I don't want to, you know, mess with that, so.
<laughs> Look, I got a monster import sticker on it. So there you have it. Um, what we do next is um, fill this thing with some glue and then paint that black when it dries. You know, so make it look a little bit, look a little bit nicer. But. Take an ordinary, cheap Walmart BB gun and having fun with it. As you can see, there is a target right there, the green thing. It's got a zombie on it. So. The nice thing about this is you don't need NFA paperwork to register a freaking BB gun from Walmart. And you know what I'm saying? It's not going to bust me up. He's got a start off gun. Freeze! Like, it's a BB gun, people. Chill your shit. Oh. Well, okay then. Yeah. But. Just a nice little, uh. Tactical combat, um, you know, it's like a, a combat, you know, BBR or some shit. I don't fucking know. So, yeah, it's, uh, loads of fun now. Two pumps is max for me in the apartment, but when I'm out planking, this will be like more than one, more than one pump, so. So, yep, safety on, fire the BBs, all right. Um, didn't affect the gun anything, it still works like it's supposed to, okay. Um, gun still fires like it's supposed to. Um, there's nothing on the inside of the stock. Doesn't leak the BBs or anything like that. So, yeah. There's nothing on the inside of the stock. The stock is um hollowed out. So let's take a look on the inside. Nope. There's nothing on the inside of the stock. The stock is just hollow, so you don't need it. It's just there, you know, for a shorter support, but yeah. So um <clears throat> I could use get some glue and uh, fill this puppy in with some glue and with some plastic filling or something like that and just, you know, um, could do. Let's see. Ah. Okay, I'll take some of this tissue here. We're going to wind it up and we're going to stuff it into the, into the handle. Stuff that into the beef again, nice into the handle that here, so it doesn't. Like that. Okay. 
Okay. Stuff in there like that, basically. Okay. And then we're going here and do the same thing over here. What you're going to do is you're just going to take it and mold it into the BB gun so it gives it a nice handle. Okay. It's going to act like a paper mache basically, so... Okay, hold that in there nice and tight. And you, you can pick up these on cost and BB guns at Walmart for under like maybe 60 bucks. So they're uh, loads of fun to shoot and just a blast to have, you know, lying around. Okay. Okay. See what I did here is I stuck some in the side here and over here like that. Okay. Still a crazy project with me, I guess, you know. I <clears throat> the gun is on safety, so okay, it was on safety, but now it's on safety. So always treat a gun as though if it's loaded. So these are not toys; these can poke someone's fucking eye out. So yeah. So it's going to do is just stuff and Kleenex into the into the um, gun here. Um, Alright, beans, uh, that looks good enough, that's good enough, okay, we'll just pack it down in there, into those holes, okay, Now, next thing we're going to do after you've stuffed your your gun with the paint, or excuse me, the Kleenex, is you're going to paint over it with some black paint. So, we're going to go to safety, check, okay, and um, set the gun down. Be careful with these virus clamps, you don't want to, if you have them in your house. Okay, make sure the bolt isn't in the way. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it's good to be that much there. All right. Pull it extra on the top here for support. Okay, whatever. Okay, stuff in there like that. Let's go to our paints here. We got, um, It's so oil-based protective paint. This shit is messy as fuck, so I recommend being very careful with it. Okay. Um. Pull it up like that. You need a screwdriver. You your hands. There we go. Cool beans. Okay, now we're gonna take. Um. Take a little um, uh, dabbing sponge here. Just dab with the Kleenex. You know that could drip my um, guitar case. So what I'm gonna do is gonna like there we go. That's 
<laughs> okay. Apparently, it's, um, look at that. Yeah, that's not good. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Waste of paint. So, okay, when you're painting your stuff, make sure it's always still back on. Okay, um, we got some paint right here. It's black. Use a screwdriver to open it, and you know what? And we have the tools for this to use them. It's one of these screwdrivers. Screw it, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, um... If you don't have a paint opener, you just take a screwdriver, a nice little flathead, and pound the pound into the lid, and then pry it open like that. There we go. Sweet. All right, let's try this again. Take a brush, a little sponge brush here, and just get a little bit in there. And just cover that. Because um, Kleenex is so absorbent, this will actually absorb nicely into the Kleenex here. So. There you go. Kleenex is under for masturbation and crying. You can use them as paper mache for your son of beauty hats. <laughs> oh. Here. Um, this paint is for wood and plastic, so it should uh, turn out pretty freaking sweet. Yipper, so pretty badass when it's done. Because the handle has been cracked from sawing it in half, a little bit of paint on the, on the handle here. This paint's entire handle black. That paint dries too, it'll have a nice shine to it, and they don't crack open. The gun itself's already black, but. It looked really cool. Well, my business all close, you know. It ain't the most professional job in the world, but 
It's a song off BB Gun by the Gun of Walmart, along with the song, you know, and Vice Clamp, or just, uh, you know, Vice Clamp's good to have for working on projects like this so you don't cut yourself bad. Um, if you are a kid, of course, they get parents' permission before you do this because your parents might like, do that and you know, some of you in your garage. I know this in personal experience because a lot of you guys I had, I did this too, and my parents flip shit. They're like, oh my god, our son's got a son off and shut down. What are we going to do? Oh my god. All I did was give like another pistol grip. I wasn't hurting anybody or anything, but you know, parents are just. So what I do is just going to take the page and smooth it over like that. And. I don't get any paint on the opening of the BB gun or anything like that. Leave that free of paint. Okay. Cool. Alright. When that paint dries, it'll seal over the crack a little bit and you know, give it a nice smooth finish. So. Alright, let that dry. It's probably a good thing they all, I use the oil based paint because unfortunately those oil based paints um, do not come on your brushes. So if you want to repaint something with an oil based paintbrush that's been sold, you can't wash it out, unfortunately. So, yeah. Alright, that looks pretty damn sweet. I'll let that sit. Alright, cool goods. Let it sit and dry. Yeah, you know, I could have got some like plastic filler or something like that, you know, but I didn't have it really available, so I used some um, Kleenex and paint. It works. The paint will dry hard as a rock, and yeah. So then you got your paintbrush. Um, always wash your paintbrushes out when you're done using them. Trust me on this. I know you think it's a pain in the ass, but trust me on this. You repaint something like a wand, and. You know, your, your paintbrush will pull up your rock hard, so. Go to my bathroom here and just wash out the paintbrush. Sponge brush, whatever you want to call it. With the oil based paints, too, like I said, those paints on your skin, it's a bitch to clean off, but with the oil based paints, it's even it's impossible. And it lasted for a couple of weeks, so. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty uh, gnarly. That's done. The water added to the paintbrush all soaking because when you when it clean it's wet, it gets all mushy, and then yeah, the paint mixed in that should uh that should dry pretty sweetly. So, yeah, that is how you turn a uh, Crossman Pupmaster BB gun into a pistol gripped looking thing, sawn off basically. Yeah. So, I'm gonna grab my ashtray and have a cigarette. Nice. Basically, I just emptied my ashtray, so, 
it was pretty full. <laughs> but also have some coffee, my little mini coffee maker, you know, the Kingpin or something like that. When he lifts it up, cartridge spreading, oh, pours water on the coffee cup. I have one of those. Um, I have a little bit of um, bold coffee in here, so. Mm. It's cold, but yeah, it's coffee, so. Um, so, uh, when that, when that fucker dries, we'll see how good it looks, and for me, it looks pretty fucking sweet, so, and I think with the Kleenex, too, you know, and sanding it off smoothly, you could just leave it as is, or put some tape around it, but I don't have any, um, tape on hand, and that Kleenex will harden, it'll, it won't, because if you sand the plastic off, you're not doing that. It's just for safety reasons because that plastic can get sharp and it could cut your finger. You never know. Or your hand or whatever. So, yeah, it's just take some sandpaper to it, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, there you have it. Sawn off um, BB gun. I don't know how common these are on YouTube. So, in fact, I'll go to YouTube right now. And also got one of those um, barbecue lighters out on the table. I'm trying to change one of those... Um, Mini cannons. I saw a video on YouTube. I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. I'll try that. So, well, I'm bored. It's my day off, and I'm trying to find ways to get myself entertained. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. And they make BB guns like that, but they don't come on guys, just do it yourself, you know. Add a little bit of flair to your crossman. So sod off Sawa BB gun. Let's see what we got here. Sawed off uh, sixty pump master review. That's what I got as a pump master, so let's see what they got here. Hello YouTube, this is Outdoorsman289 uh, here. And uh, sort of an overview, I can't really say a review because it's not on the market. It's actually a uh, pump master 760 made by Crossman that I uh, decided to mod. And what I did, you can see right there, I sawed it off. And, um... Hmm. I use sandpaper and scrape down the bluing or whatever finish they have on there and made it silver. Uh, it's really smooth too. Um, spray paint it sort of a camo color. You can see the green on there. Oh, cool beans. People should do that on YouTube. Oh, cool. Hey guys, what's up? I am doing another little video, and you're probably wondering what this is. It is a pistol whip, sawed off, pellet gun shotgun that I made. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see when it, when it uh, dries, you know. It's kind of the, the pump master there, so, yeah. Sawed off Red Rider. Yeah, so there's a lot of people doing sawed off mods to their BB guns, so. That's cool. That was the first one, and... Um, I think it'll turn out pretty sick when it's done. So, and then when the paint dries on the, um, uh, uh pull-up paper, or, um, Kleenex, I'll take some sandpaper and I'll even it out so it's flat with the gun, so it'll look not really nice when it's done, so. Yep, -er. So, yeah. Do his work. The saw back on the workbench. I'm going to uh, just throw this away. 
because I don't need it anymore. Well, that's basically it. Um, nothing uh, too fancy, but I think it's going to be when it's done. So, uh, but, uh, In the meantime, I might get some um, uh, green paint and accent it a little bit and make it, you know, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let, let that fucker dry and then, uh, because the Kleenex is kind of just above it just a little bit, but, you know, I'll take some sand, maybe, you know, sand it all off and then cover it with another coat of paint. Make it look like it was intentional, purposely done, so it should look pretty nice. Son of Christ. Hey. Actually, I have a of stuff. Hey guys, I'm going to show you my Crosman. I was pumping it, and the cheap bastards who actually made this, it was so, like, terrible plastic at the end and it broke. So now I have a redneck sawed off Crosman. Um, I got some hunting pellets in there. I'm not going to shoot it, um, because it's not very accurate anymore, but. Um, this is cheap. The fact that, like, it broke like that, that is way, way cheap. Yeah, I've had that problem with Crossmaster. The first Cross the Puppmaster I had broke within a year, and it was unfixable. But these Crossmans I have now are supposedly better, you know. So, okay, what else do we got? Hey guys, sorry for the poor quality. Um, this is my Pump Master 760. The only thing I did so far is cut off the stock, made it a pistol grip. That's what this I is my like. first YouTube video. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to show you with the stock and without. You can see it's actually quite a bit shorter without the full stock on it. Yeah. This is the original stock it came with. All I did was this part right through here. I just cut that off and made a pistol grip. Well, let me get the stock off. Show you what it looks like without it. I can get the damn screwdriver in there. Later on, I will be making a video that shows that this thing still fires. In case people think it's not a working one. <laughs> All 
remember before it would fit in this screen completely like this and now it adds an extra roll by an inch a little bit more than an inch oh, about six inches or so and uh... well there you go my first video please rate comment subscribe there will be more to come Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, there you have it. Start off, Cross and Me Begin, part one. Got the King Cobra. Thanks for watching.